hey everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i am going to show you one of the solution which i have recently implemented in my organization and that solution is related to shortening the urls of any document share which is uploaded to a library or any sharepoint item so you must be familiar that uh, sharepoint any list item link or document link is kind of very long 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 and uh, when we say like when we wish to use those links in any of the application that seems a pretty odd so my requirement was using that into sms and message and whatsapp messages so actually what i did i used one of the open api so actually it's not open so it's a license version but i used a free version of the api to shorten the urls and uh, that i'm going to tell you like how to do that how to where to register and how you, you can actually work with it so let's see so i am first of all opening one of the sharepoint library where i can just show you this document library a document is uploaded to this library and when i go to copy link you can see that uh, this pop-up would be having my copied link and i can just actually paste that into notepad and it's a long url for that document so i need to shorten out this and save this shortened url into the same libraries column so i'll just create one uh, column so let's say short url and i'll be populating the shortened url over here in this column so that was first step number one just create one custom column in the your library and so that this custom column can be populated via our flow and nextly like uh, i'll just want to show you this that I have used rebrandly for my shortening any of the URL so if you open it go to rebrandly site developers.brandly.com and documents documentation you will find like how this rebrandly documentation can be used and if I just go to see URL you can see like the path where I have to make a post call is this api.rebrandly and content type and destination what url you wish to shorten out so i would not say like I just use rebrandly i am using it because the the uh, free version actually gives us a capability of like making 6000 or 5000 calls in a month which was kind of suffice for me but any other uh, uh, the apis like from tiny url or short url they were just giving 10 uh, calls per day so that was pretty much limited so I did not use them but uh, definitely those are more popular tiny URL and short URL and as well as if I just go to our flows and if I just go to templates you will also find one of the template uh, shorten URL and let me retype it shorten or short URL let me type that because there is one connector which has been recently released by app 365 limited and that is approved by Microsoft to create short url of a document when a sharepoint file is created so this uh, short url so if i just open that into separate tab uh, i'll just pick the company's name as well because otherwise it will give me the popular results that's tiny url and all those stuff apps 365 apps 365 app so this is microsoft approved the only limitation is like free uh, you have to create a I mean like if you wish to try it you have to create a trial account and that also like uh, takes a not gives us a like a capability where we can just call 100 uh, times API uh, in one shot so if I you have to like buy a license version for this and by after buying life license version you would get a subscription key which can be in turn used to create to have this connector in place so if I click on this, it will ask for the connection and post that connection. There are subscription key and the details which has to be filled out for this. So if you are working with the uh, organization which actually are much concerned about like uh, where their URLs, even URLs are stored outside of their environment. So probably like you can use this short URL uh, apps 365 limited with the license version because it's microsoft approved but if you are just doing that for i mean like uh, because it's just saving the url somewhere outside of, of your organization which can be like mapped with a separate dns so if you are okay then you can just use rebrandly 
and I can show you that uh, this gives us 5000 tracked in current billing cycle that means like it's my personal account so I can give a 5000 I can create 5000 short URLs per month so which is kind of fine for me so that's why I use this free version of with rebrandly with tiny URL is just 10 calls per day so that that's why I skipped that so now let's start creating if you wish to use any other then also the method would be same I'll just show you like how you can actually consume this API with subscription key so I'll just go to my flows and under flows I'll be just going to custom connectors under the data and over here we'll be just start creating one custom connector so I'll start creating from blank and I'll just say it short URLs and over here I'll just give a uh, my host name and host name is as I said it's this HTTPS API rebrandly.com so I'll just copy this entire piece uh, not this entire just api.rebrandly.com and paste it and I'll just move to security in security as I said like it will work on the API key and parameter I'll just specify API key and parameter name API key as we are reading the API key as parameter 2 and post that I'll be just creating definition of our staff and this custom character would be called from our uh, flow so I'll just give a name and method name operation name for it so I'll just say short URL and I'll just say the same thing for the short operation ID and from here like I have to create a sample I mean a request body so I will just click on import from sample and we'll click on post because this is a post method and now I'll just copy this URL the API call API URL and under headers I need to pass on the headers like content type application JSON so I'll just copy the headers from the sample application JSON and in body I can paste up the board body JSON so in body JSON I can show you like it's destination destination the URL where we'll be putting the URL of our SharePoint document and domain we can skip it it's optional so I'll just copy the JSON related to destination and I'll just paste that into this JSON body so now you can see like I have I'm missing curly braces I just put down those braces and now I can simply cancel uh, import so now I'll just go to the next step that is code preview so I'll just create click on create connector now it's saving connector and in just few seconds will be there on our test screen and after that I can just go to the test screen and this in this test step will be just providing will be creating new connection and over here when I click on new connection so it's asked me for API key so now I have to put API key and for API key you can just scroll down you can go to your authentication refer to the authentication section for creating a new API key so I'll just click on this though like I have already have this uh, API key because I've registered for free so I'll just copy from my subscription and I'll use uh, where is that API section and I'll copy my API key and I'll paste that into API key and I'm creating connection so I should be all set up and now I'll just need to do a refresh so that I can use my connection which is just created so now it's time to test the URL so I'll just put up the content type is application JSON and destination in raw body I can put the JSON in curly braces or uh, I can just simply enter the URL which I would like to short so let's say like I am entering scdbstwitter.com just for the test and I will just do a test operation and it got succeed now you can see in destination we provided this and in 
short URL, we got this one. So as this URL was itself very short, so you will not see the difference, but uh, with SharePoint URL, so it will be a long, long URL. It's going to create a flow now. So this uh, connector, I can just simply save and close. And this is ready to be used in any of our flow. So now I'm going to create one flow to use it. So that would be instant cloud flow. And I'll just skip the trigger because I'm going to choose a trigger when a file is created and I will choose just when a file is created properties only because I don't need to have the file content. So I'll just map that to one of my SharePoint site where we are uploading that document and I'll choose my library and in next step I'll just use I'll just go to custom because we just created custom connector for short URL and use this action as short URL in content type I'll just put as application JSON as we did in while testing and in the destination I'll be providing the link of this item so I'll just from the dynamic content I'll just pick link to item and this will be that long URL for this document library uh, document and now for a test run I'll just save it and we'll create one test file into document library just to see like whether we get a short URL or not and I'll just create one document what document and I'll just save it with the garbage content and this document is saved and we'll just wait for our flow to run I'll just go to my flow history and we'll just wait so we got it running successfully I'll just click on this and we'll just verify that the short URL is working or not so this is our JSON output and I'll just choose the short URL as this. Now we are going to just use this output JSON to pass it so that I can extract the short URL and should able to use the short URL while updating the column. So I'll just edit my flow again. And next step I'll use pass JSON. And in parse JSON, I'll generate from sample and sample I just copied the output of my previous tab and say done. So it will actually extract the entire fields and out of these fields I'll use the short URL while mapping and the content would be the body of the previous short URL tab. So in next step, I'll just use the update file properties because we need to update the short URL which we just got and I'll just map that again to my site, list library name, my library and ID would be the identifier. So I'll just click the file ID and in this title, I'll just leave it as a short URL. I'll just map that from the output of my previous tab, parsation and I'll just click on save. So now we are going to test end to end. So let's name this short URL flow and save it. And I'll, I'll just open my SharePoint document library again. And this time I'll just upload one of the file from my system. So I'm not sure whether I have any file. So let me just put at any of this item. So it's uploading and we'll just wait for our flow to run. So our flow ran successfully. I'll just get inside of it and we'll just confirm that while updating file properties, we got that short URL or not. So I'm just trying to find that. And I could not see it. Where is that column? short URL okay so we have this short URL and the URL is this so I'll just go to my SharePoint site just to see whether my custom column is filled that short URL or not okay it's filled and I can just simply copy this short URL and paste it over any of the window so this is the image which I uploaded and now we have this short URL instead of using any long URL so you can just directly use short URL. So this is useful while you're uh, trying to send out messages, use WhatsApp or like uh, 
you wish to like provide the short test uh, mechanism to open that file so so it was a very useful uh, solution for my organization so probably it could be for yours as well so that's it for today's video thank you